An aircraft carrier is a warship that serves as a floating airbase, equipped with a full-length flight deck and facilities for forward presence, deterrence, sea control, power projection, and maritime security. Nimitz-class aircraft carrier is the class of ships operated by the United States Navy for crisis response and early decisive striking power in a major combat operation. While Russia's Admiral Kuznetsov-class carrier is not a pure aircraft carrier, but is called a cruiser due to its massive payload and extensive command and control facilities. We thought it'd be interesting to compare these biggest aircraft carriers operating in the two most powerful navies of the world, the United States and Russia. Let's take a closer look at these giants of the sea in this video and try to determine which ship is better. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button so that you can be a part of our notification squad. Number 1. In 1975, the first Nimitz-class carrier was commissioned in the United States Navy. Presently, the Navy is operating 11 nuclear-powered aircraft carriers. Ten of these ships fall under the designation of Nimitz-class, while remaining one is known as Ford-class aircraft carrier. The flight deck of a Nimitz uses steam catapults and arrestor wires for launch and recovery of aircraft. A single Nimitz-class ship operates in carrier strike groups, which is an operational formation composed of roughly 8,000 personnel, an aircraft carrier, cruisers, a squadron of at least two destroyers, and a carrier air wing of 60 to 90 aircraft. Occasionally, a carrier strike group also includes submarines, logistics ships, and supply ships as well. On the other hand, the Russian aircraft carrier named Admiral Kuznetsov was launched in 1985 and is Russia's only one. The design of the Admiral Kutsensov class implies a mission different from that of the United States Navy's carriers. The term used by its designers to describe the Russian ships is heavy aircraft carrying cruiser, which is intended to support and defend strategic missile carrying submarines, surface ships, and naval missile carrying aircraft of the Russian Navy. Admiral Kuznetsov is outfitted with a ski jump at the end of its bow for fixed-wing aircraft to take off. The Russian ship is armed with 12 nuclear-tipped long-range surface-to-surface anti-ship cruise missiles. That's the reason this Russian ship is called Heavy Aircraft Carrying Missile Cruiser. This carrier also carries Ka-27 and Ka-52 helicopters for anti-ship and anti-submarine warfare. Number 2. The two nations have very different focuses when it comes to powering their ships. Each Nimitz-class carrier is powered by two nuclear reactors and four steam turbines. The resulting steam spins four propeller shafts, producing 190 megawatt power to move the ship at a maximum speed of over 35 miles per hour. As a result of the use of nuclear power, the ships are capable of operating continuously for over 25 years without refueling and are predicted to have a service life of over 50 years. In contrast, Admiral Kuznetsov is primarily powered by eight turbo-pressurized boilers, four turbines, nine turbo-generators, and six diesel generators. The engines are capable to generate 150 megawatts of power to move the ship at 33 miles per hour. The maximum range of the vessel is around 9,781 miles and it's capable to operate continuously for 45 days. Both vessels have speeds around 35 miles per hour. The range of Nimitz-class carriers is unlimited as it can roam the world's ocean for 25 years without refueling. In contrast, the Kuznetsov has a limited range. Number 3. The more recent Nimitz-class carrier has a displacement of 102,000 tons when fully loaded. It has a length of 1,092 feet, beam of 252 feet, and draft of 41 feet. Each Nimitz-class carrier has capacity to accommodate 90 fixed-wing aircraft and helicopters. 
This includes F-35C, F-A-18 Super Hornets, Growlers, Hawkeyes, Greyhounds, Sea Hawk, Sea Knight, Sea Dragon, and V-22 Osprey. The vessel is operated by 6,000 crew and is equipped with four lifts, four steam-driven catapults, and four arrestor wires. The ship is capable of launching one aircraft every 20 seconds. On the other hand, Admiral Kudzenstoff typically carries around 30 to 50 aircraft and has a crew of about 1,700. It has displacement of 58,500 tons when fully loaded. The flight deck area is around 14,700 square meters and aircraft takeoff is assisted by a ski jump angled at 12 degrees. The flight deck is also equipped with arrestor wires. The ship has the capacity to support SU-33, MiG-29K, SU-27K, and wide range of Navy helicopters including KA-27 and KA-52. Number 4. Sensors on board the Nimitz class include 3D air search detectors, target acquisition locators, air traffic control radars and guidance systems. This ship is also equipped with long-range air surveillance sensors, anti-ship missile defense, multi-mode X-band pulse radar, precision approach landing system, and carrier tactical support center. This system assists undersea and surface warfare by providing support for mission planning and execution. In contrast, the Russian aircraft carrier is equipped with air and surface target acquisition locators, surface search detectors, flight control radar, navigation sensors, and K-band fire control radars for the air defense missile system. The ship's hull-mounted search and attack sonar operates in the medium and low frequency bands, which is capable of detecting torpedoes and submarines. The anti-submarine warfare aircraft are equipped with surface search radar, dipping sonar, buoys, and magnetic anomaly detectors. Number 5. In addition to the aircraft carried on board, Nimitz-class ships carry defensive equipment for use against missiles and hostile aircraft. These consist of Sea Sparrow missile launchers and 20mm Phalanx six-barreled gun, which has a firing rate of 3,000 rounds a minute in a range of one mile. The vessel is also armed with rolling airframe missile system. A Nimitz-class carrier is constructed with 64mm Kevlar armor over vital spaces. The other countermeasures include Super Rapid Bloom offboard chafe, six-barrel decoy launchers which deploy infrared flare and chafe to disrupt the sensors of incoming missiles. The carriers also use radar jamming and deception systems to detect and disrupt hostile radar signals. While the presence of nuclear weapons on board has neither been confirmed nor denied by the U.S. government. In contrast, the Kuznetsov class ship was originally designed as an aircraft cruiser. However, Kuznetsov carrier is armed with 12 anti-ship surface-to-surface -surface missiles as the primary armament. These missiles are stored in 12 vertical launchers located beneath the front deck of the ship. The heavy surface armament makes Kuznetsov different from other aircraft carriers which carry only defensive armament and rely on their aircraft for strike power. For long-range air defense, Kuznetsov is outfitted with 24 vertical launchers for 192 surface-to-air missiles. For close-range air defense, the ship carries eight close-in weapon system mounts with range of two miles. The ship is equipped with anti-submarine system with operating depth of 2,000 feet. So what do you think? Which aircraft carrier is better? America's Nimitz-class carrier or Russia's Admiral Kuznetsov? Let us know in the comments section. Also, be sure to check out our other military videos. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.